I love being Marvin. I love being Marvin. Marvin always eats the finest breakfast in town. Now Marvin eats his breakfast. Everybody into the kitchen. Here comes Marvin, banging his groin with his fist. He mumbles in to insist. No one looks busy in this kitchen, and my breakfast isn't ready, and my stomach aches. I mean specifically the maid who was reclining like she's laid the golden egg. I want some chatter and some gruel, make me want to drool, try to make me hungry. Oh, Cat got your tongue? Martin always knows that sort of answer's still alive. I may be sly here, but not young. And loaded. She's an actor from the old school and a lousy chef. I don't want miracles from heaven, just some eggies over spinach, over toast. No, I will not apologize. She's doing a prize very best. Emoting. Oh. That girl can't cook. Maybe she can't cook, but have you seen her milk a cup? And I can read her like a book. Marvin wouldn't read that kind of novel anyhow. I need my breakfast. Stop your staring! Stop your staring! People, people, stop your staring! Get to work! My breakfast is in me. People, people, stop yes. your staring! Get to work! My breakfast is in Life is a lonely life. Life is a rotten and thankfully short. Thankfully short. Thankfully short. Like Marvin. Everybody into the kitchen. Here comes Marvin. My birthday, this is shit, this isn't breakfast, I could crack your feet. I mean, for God's sakes, am I talking to the wall when I say breakfast? I mean food! I dreamt all night of hips and legs, now I want some eggs, things I might relate to. 